got hunted. Na target kami. We got targeted by criminal syndicates in Barcelona, Spain oh my during our honeymoon. It felt like an action movie. Now, here's the juicy part of the story. I'll tell you from the start. So here's how it happened. Normally, when we travel, mm -hmm. we usually rent a car because it's easier to travel yes. and get around. And I always thought it would be safer rather than taking the taxi or going to the subway or taking the trains. So renting a car has always been one of the go-tos for uh, being able to travel and go around and also have a safety bubble from thugs that would, uh, you know, you'd encounter during yeah. touring uh, European cities or any city in the world in particular. So anyway. Yeah, it just feels more private also. Mm. And I personally, as a passenger princess, I like it too. <laughs> It yeah. feels safer, it does. Yeah, when you actually traveled with your parents before to Europe without uh, renting a car and you were able to experience renting a car, you saw the difference, right? Yes, of course. Siyempre, luggages pa lang. <laughs> Malaking ginawa na. Oo, kasi yung mga luggages, pag uh, naglalakad ka and you're trying to move around different train stations yeah. or taxis, it's quite difficult, di ba? When you have your own car here, you can leave your things in the car without thinking about it. Anyway, so here's the story. It was our second day in Barcelona when we got targeted by criminals. Though maybe they targeted us the first day pa lang. But anyway, let's uh, go to the story or first. Or actually, maybe it's random. We never really know. We never know. Okay. But uh, we'll tell you the story. So here it goes. So the second day, we were going to see the Casa Batio, which mm -hmm. is a uh, nice uh, museum house uh, in the Paseg de Gracia, one of the main streets or the rich streets of, of Barcelona, Spain. So as we left the hotel to drive towards the location, we were even joking with each other, like no. here in Spain or there in Spain, the criminal laws are quite different. Yeah. Snatchers or uh, thieves actually yeah. uh, can get away with crime depending yeah. on the limit of the items okay. they stole. So they won't get jailed if the amount isn't worth up to 400 euros, right? Yes, that's so, correct. Nakakaloka kasi nagtatawanan pa tayo, di ba? What if may mga ibang turista na nagpupunta dito, alam yung law na yun, so uh, they will say yeah. magnakaw sila ng less than 400 euro para hindi naman sila makukulong pala. But that was the joke that yes. was going on. And huh? I remember literally we were laughing because mm -hmm. I was, natawa talaga ako and we were like, ha ha And then moments after, this guy like in a motorcycle knocks on my window. Yeah, diba? during the stoplight. During light. the stoplight. Mm -hmm. Moments after that joke and laughter. Mm -hmm. And he was like, Tuck, tuck, tuck. And he was like, oh, flat tire, flat uh -huh. tire. And then, mechanical, mechanical. He was very, like, adamant. Yeah, he and was trying to stop us. Yeah, and he was very animated also and very concerned. You know, he saw us and he was like, pointing. Mm. And then he vroom, vroomed away already. He left. And as he was rooming, driving away, he even looked back to say, mechanical. Like, as if it was really urgent. Yeah, so what I first did, because you know, the cars that you can rent from Avis or any other car rental right mm -hmm. now, there are sensors naman kasi mga bagong kotse are quite high tech. So I checked the tire pressure sensors and everything was a okay. Yeah. And then as we were driving, maybe three minutes, four minutes in, suddenly the sensor said we were flat. So I was yeah. surprised. And, and then, then another motorist came by but he didn't stop because there was no stoplight but um parang dinaanan lang kami and then he also like um gestured mm. uh, flat tire flat yeah. tire so there was a second guy second yeah. guy and then yeah. so we were parang it established the fact in our heads that it is something of concern and we mm. have to address it asap and so we did and i was like okay maybe we really have to huh? yeah that's why when uh, actually i kind of felt that tire slowing or you know yeah. softening i yeah. felt it also and then parang okay so it confirmed yeah so, so when when we were driving there were two things that came into my mind either we stop now because the you could actually hear the grind of the uh, wheel grinding against the uh, rims no mm -hmm. so i could hear that like it was while you were driving yeah yeah but i could feel it yeah Talaga. yeah that's why but my concern was if i stopped at a random street here in barcelona in my mind this is what i was avoiding because barcelona is a known city for a lot of uh, you know the syndicates targeting tourists diba right? so mm -hmm. uh, i didn't want to stop there so i programmed to go to a parking facility which was a parking basement with full security, full support, has uh, an air tire uh, uh, inflator and everything, and also has an Avis office. That's why mm -hmm. I was planning to go there to ask for help and be able to park. And it's also near the tourist spot that we were going to. Mm -hmm. But when I checked the ways, I was kasi ako pag nag-drive. Yes. It said two and a half kilometers away. Pa, sabi ko, but 
wow, that's a long drive, two and a half kilometers on a flat tire. Malayo yun. But sabi ko, eh, I'll just run it flat rather than stop here. Yeah. So I kept running it flat. So it was quite noisy. I was just running very slowly, maybe 30, 20 kilometers. Until we reached all the way there to the uh, parking uh, basement. Yeah, entrance. basement siya pala. And yeah. then, so it was in the Pasig de Gracia st uh, Street, uh, which is uh, those yeah. who have been to Barcelona, is the parang high-end street nila. And then during the ticketing area, yeah. the ticketing booth area pala, pagpasok, you were already having problems with the Ticketing booth, yeah, right? the ticketing machine wasn't giving out the uh, tickets, so it was malfunctioning. So we, the gate of the of the parking basement wouldn't open yet, mm -hmm. and then suddenly the guy who was trying to signal us for a flat tire a while back suddenly showed up, and he was uh, trying to help us uh, also fix the uh, parking barrier. But my question was for you because I was actually like busy on my phone, so I could kind of still remember my peripherals, but mm. I wasn't super paying attention to that moment. Did you remember that he was the first guy? Actually, I did not. I just thought that he looked similar, but I wasn't really sure that it was him. Because you never know, Shepard, you're traveling naman, hindi ka naman, oh, ikaw pala yun, diba? Yeah, because he was wearing shades and a helmet, yeah. and he had, uh, uh, you know, a very, uh, you know, not so okay. dark complexion, but, you know, medyo uh, darkish complexion. Ayun. So, I don't know, it, it looked kind of generic to me, so I thought, might be, you know, just a similar looking guy. So, anyway, so he even called the intercom for the mechanic to come. And so, he helped us. Yeah, so it took me three, four minutes before the mechanic was able to fix that uh, parking ticket machine to, uh, you know, be able to eject tickets yeah. and for us to get in the, the parking. The official basement. mechanic from the official parking lot building. Yeah, from the parking uh, basement's uh, co uh, company support. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it took a while before he got to fix him, uh, three, four, five minutes oh, maybe. Nga. Yeah. And then we went yeah. to... Yeah, as we were going in, he was trying to guide us and saying that he would help us uh, with a tire. And, uh, he, but then, I, I think I remember asking you, Babe, official ba to? Yeah, that's why at first, I was wondering, why was he here? Why is he trying to help us? And then I was like, wow, well, it's naman niya. <laughs> or yeah. like, at the back of my mind, well, parang, okay, so proactive naman this guy. Like, yeah. official ba to? But then... But then, uh, at first, he led us to one, the first parking slot. And then, uh, I, I talked to him. So, uh, can you help me? Is there a machine here? Yes. He said, yes, yes, yes. And then he said, uh, wait, we have to uh, go down one more, one more floor. I said, okay, we're going to change parking again. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, I got in the car again and he, he was guiding me. So, I thought he was, you see, are you associated or working here? So, it, it was quite confusing. But we never asked him, right? Never asked him. But I was... I was just there. Yeah. <laughs> and you were just inside pa rin, di yes, ba? Yeah. Ka na ba that time? We were both safe in the car still, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, I, I went out just to talk to him for a while. Then I went back into the car to bring Tama. the car yes, yes. downstairs. So anyway, when I was parking the car, I was, of course, when I was looking around in this very fancy uh, parking basement. It's the parking basement of not only the tourist spot, but also Mandarin Hotel. And yeah, other there are a lot of, shared hotels. Yeah, yeah. and there were a lot of really nice... Uh, you know, luxury cars in that building and uh, there was a roving security. So I didn't think that anyone would uh, yeah. do anything bad inside such a facility. Yeah. We're not in the street. And for me, naman, my alertness radar starts when it's time to go out of the car. Yeah. So I was still super chill. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so as we went down there, yeah, he said he was even guiding us to the parking. And then once, he, once we got to park, he said, open the trunk. There's a... Uh, uh, he got something which just looked like a tire inflator. Apparently, there's a tire inflator in the car. Uh -uh. And then he was uh, plugging it. Uh, Dun sa side ko. Yeah. That's why he made me like go out of my seat. Yeah. He was like, go out cause because he's going to plug something. Plug it. Yeah. So, okay, it made sense. So, lumabas ako with my... Because at that time, I had two bags. One is my personal bag. And then the second one is <laughs> to save time. <laughs> Yung makeup ko and other abubots like gloves, you know, random things like my safety blanket bag mm. na full of other stuff. Now, I intend to leave in the car lang, which is, I guess, I guess unadvisable. But anyway, so mm. ayun, I had my personal bag na naka body bag. So lumabas na ako. I stepped out of the car mm. and then he um, he plugs it in. Yeah, he plugs it in. And, and the machine. Naman naman, everything's there. Yeah, and then you know. He's really helping us. And then one of the things that made you think that he was. Uh, not so sketchy was because he left his personal items. Like, I think, I'm not sure, I forget about the other stuff, but I think there was like a man pouch or was it like a book and then his phone. Talagang he left it on the ground. 
So he left it on the ground, and I, I even remember remember seeing his wallpaper. So parang I was trying to profile this guy na parang may silhouette, you know those cheesy beach silhouettes na may parang heart shadow na may family photo. And I was like, okay, this is a family guy, siguro naman it's okay. Mm. And then he was helping you, and the fact that he left his belongings, uh, his precious uh, belongings uh, down. Hindi wanyo cellphone niya. Hindi ko alam niya, parang... kung part of the plan yun oh. <laughs> or something na parang mukha mong ano Ma siya mabait talaga siya oh, siya pa ngayon nag-iiwan ng gamit niya oh, oh. so I was like okay that's why okay so anyway he was as he was uh, trying to help us he said that uh, I should uh, you know uh, push the car so that while the air machine is trying to put air into the uh, tire ili lift down yeah so that the air could circulate kasi it was oh, a total oh. flat so it could circulate so the it air. was him you it was and, just me and you you palang no that yeah, time yeah it was just me and him pushing uh, you the car and him, rem I remember like, you and him back and forth man, as of the passenger you were just princess. spectating I was spectating and also because I was like diba parang, yeah. you guys do that <laughs> you yeah, guys yeah. do that go yeah. I'm gonna support you guys from afar yes yeah, so. and then he and then parang I remember you guys get tayo tayo like you guys were there and I was uh. like somewhere here yeah. parang from a distance like nagpa phone phone lang ako uh. nag uh, nagpa bank ko lang ako ng mga posts for IG and then you guys were Doing the heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah, like pushing the car back and like that. And then he was like, after a while, the like he was like, hi, parang. But the thing was, feel ko kasi may the language barrier. Sino yeah, he was speaking it. Spanish, not he wasn't even speaking he a single English. Yeah, not a single English. English para siguro para mm. mas mahirap talaga, yeah. like makonfuse kayo, bahala kayo. Yeah. Dyan. And he was, he told me, hi, at the girl, come here, help him, help yeah. him. Yeah. Para daw the, ano. So in my head, I'm like, ah, okay, Alice ka na ba? In my head, I'm like, oh, are you gonna leave na? <laughs> so, so you I was helping pushing. you guys. You were pushing. Lift it up. Eh, kami dalawa, hindi pa naman. Never pa kami nakachange. Yeah, sorry, I've never changed a tire yet. <laughs> Me so. also, yan. So, yeah, although I've been driving for medyo, um, more than uh, two decades. But I aminado kami, nakulang kami sa life skills part oh. doon. Ayun, and... So he was saying, he push was, it so that while I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pushing, he, you lifting, push. Lifting, lifting it also. Yeah, so para that daw it lumobo. Is, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, lumobo. The air circulates the, the, the tire it, within the tire and then so huh? and at the back of my mind huh? eh, butas na yun eh. so parang, I was just going with the flotas I remember him saying mass mass oh. pa siya. mass mass more so tatlo kami doon. imagine mm. naka close yung buong car and mass mass and I remember he told me pa talaga mass mass eh, mahirap gawin yun. I was literally holding that ikaw yung tire. Ginaganan mm. ko na natatawa na nga ako. And then I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work because mm. my bag is here. Ayan na. So, uh. I was like, para lang I could push it better. Let me remove my body bag and put it in the car. The, the front, front seat. seat my yeah. seat. The uh. So, pinasok ko muna siya tapos close ko. I closed the door kasi mm. we're all helping naman eh. Diba? Uh, Tayo, may kita naman natin kung may dalaw siyang natin, mali. Tsaka, tatlo tayo eh. Tatlo uh. tayo na sa side na to. Nakaklose naman yung door. Yes. So yun. And then we continued. Mm -hmm. Mas, mas. Tos, I remember, I laughed pa nga. Pero tumatawa ko. So parang, parang kaming mga tanga. Sabi ko, babe, parang wala naman nangyayari. Mm -hmm. I was literally giggling like this. And then, all of a sudden, I saw a woman running. A woman na naka-helmet. Running. Like, super like, <laughs> and I was yeah. like, a, a white Spanish woman, yes. yeah. And I was like, huh? That's probably, kawawa naman yung girl. And then oh suddenly, the one who was helping us started running away. Yeah, so I was like, oh my gosh, kawawa naman yung, kasi yung eyes ko nandun sa girl eh, because everything was happening so fast. Kawawa naman yung girl, nandakawan siya, and she's like, um, trying to retrieve her things? What's happening? So parang we were piecing what was happening, and uh, then biglang, you, we were like, biglang yung guy na tumutulong sa amin, na. So, started running in front of our eyes, so, as in, he was like Usain Bolt running so fast. I didn't even see that, because it was so fast. So I, I saw was, him running. Ayun. Then, the first thing that came into my mind, wait, tulungan ko yung babae, tackle ko siya. Wow, tara. Pero pag kahinabol ko siya, the first thing that came into my mind, baka maiwan ko si yung misis ko, si wow. Ma Janina. And man. if I leave her, I don't know Talaga. if may ka ibang mga kasama doon na baka ma, you know, a bit ma victim myself if I leave her. That's why the first thing I asked you, Han, check your bags. That was my first question. Remember? Okay, so remember, so remember I was saying naka-close lahat now. Mm. And up until that time, naka-close pa yeah, lahat. Yeah, hindi naman niya ginalaw eh. So I was like, huh. And then, so I opened the door and I was like, Huh. Wala, yung Wala na nga. Both bags. Oh. My personal bag na mas high-end ng content. The other one was like, um, ano ba? May, may pressure din. Mm. And I was like... And then, the first thing I ask you... May important things pa inside. Ano laman ng bag? Yes, I was like, um, 
wala wala puro makeup pa <laughs> puro kiki stuff uh, and so funny nakakatawa na inisip ko pa paano ako magka-makeup bukas uh, lol but anyway that wasn't the point but i was kind of like just grateful na at the moment yung thought process ko was okay okay we're safe um bagay lang yan these are just items kahit na alam kong you know yeah. we still value them in a way but still uh, yeah. we were like what just happened but yeah the reason na uh, ganun na yung item sa bag niya kasi we were always talking right before going to barcelona na delikado doon so passport i left it in my luggage in the hotel. Uh, so I always we were nag-usap kami don't carry things na important in your in your so, loose. So in a way, uh, yeah, I was ready to kind of say goodbye to those things. Alam mo yung ganung nag-thought process na okay, uh, okay lang siguro. Parang nire-recollect ko na ano ba yung laman ng bag ko. Uh, and then mga makeup, oh my makeup gosh, lang. guys, wala pang 2 minutes. Wala pang 2 minutes. I already saw another woman, Spanish woman. Spanish oh. woman also biglang Are these yours? Parang ganun. Parang mm. yours. Yung Two bags na yon. Sabi ko, mm. <laughs> as in, wala pang time for it to sink in. Ang bait ni Lord. Mm. I was like, wala pa talagang time to process everything. Mm. As in, di pa ako umiiyak. <laughs> di pa ako naging sad, even. Parang more like stunned lang. Mm. I was just literally stunned. Were you even like, were, were, how was the thought process of your emotions and your brain? What was happening? I was analyzing. Analyzing also. No? How, who took the bags? Because I didn't see the, that old uh, guy. You were already analyzing like, who it was. I saw his hands when he ran away from us. Wala na masyang dala. Sa, sin, paano na wala yung dalawang bag? And bakit galing siya dun? Uh, so, ito na yun, Kasi guys. pumunta yung lolo dun. Pero yung... Yung, yung white girl na may okay. hawak ng bags mo galing sa kaliwa. Okay. Yung isa kumpunta sa kaliwa. So, ganito na. Ito na. We're gonna... Rewind, Rewind and explain what happened. Because biglang dumami ng mga tao. And guys, they weren't even... Basically, the woman that I saw first na naka-helmet was already a police woman. Yes. And the second woman... Was also police. Was also a police woman. Very cool. Super women. So, Can we give them a round of applause? So, so amazing. The, the second woman with the one with the bag says that she actually caught the guy who took your bags. Which was another guy. There was another guy. And guess who that other guy was? It was motorist number two. Na nagsenya salmon from driving palang. Mm. Who said, hey, who confirmed na mm. you got a flat tire. Yeah, so these two uh, white Spanish women, they felt like yung mga ano eh. Uh, if you watch Black Widow, ganun yung dating so nila. Cool, you know, yeah. Black Widow in the Marvel. Yeah, uh, but my first thing was like, oh my gosh, can I hug you? I literally hugged like the second girl and she was like, oh, there, there. And I was like, wow, amazing. That was all I was saying. Amazing, thank you, thank you. Parang mm. ganun lang yung vibe ko. And I was like, mm. what just happened? Mm. And then they were like, okay, we're the police. Yeah, and then they literally showed their badges. Yeah, like badge siya, badges, yeah. yeah, her badge. Because oh, they're not in uniform. Yeah. Because, Polisha, Polisha. Yeah, Polisha, Polisha. Yeah, Polisha. Yeah, and then, biglang, basically, we had yeah. to stay there for our for the sorry, blotter sorry. Mm. and to explain what happened. And, they, and she was like, okay, so you two are victims of this. Mm. Th this is your bag, right? These two are your bags. So basically, we had to stay, we had to explain what happened, what we mm -hmm. saw, and we had to... Um, yeah, she was asking the value of the items yes, sold. Yes, they were listing it all out because yun nga, important sa kanila yung value because if it's below 400 euros, hindi nila makukulong. They couldn't um, put this guy behind bars. So... So, nahuli yung guy na kumuha ng dalawang bag. Pero yung, the one that was distracting us, the one that ran away... That played a huge distracting role. Uh, nakatakas. Apparently. But hopefully, they could trace him. Yeah. But they were very specific asking us what or how they looked like, mm. what they were wearing, mm. um, how they even approached us, what mm. was their strategy. Because, again, this is kind of a new... Um, what do you call this? Kind of a new... What's the term for this? New modus. New, modus, yeah, yeah modus. New, uh, actually, I was Literally, watching. Literally, yeah, we were watching. He was watching vlogs about pickpockets. Yeah, different kinds of criminal syndicates that target tourists. <laughs> that friends. very morning. Uh, and yun wala yun. So it was not. So and daming kinds of mga tricks. But this was not part of that. That's why we decided to make a vlog. <laughs> because it's a new trick that we discovered. Oh my uh, gosh. Ayan, so basically... Um, so anyway, so he was they were trying to reconfirm the facts with us. Yeah. And we couldn't even reconfirm properly because we never saw anyone get our things. Yeah. Good thing Angaling kasi the parking slot where we were at. Literally the Each CCTV uh -huh. had yeah, there was a CCTV literally right in front. Right in front. Get na as if yeah, mo, we were planting Yeah, we, <laughs> we were, were planting trapping to, them to shoot them or film them. Because right after eh, Guys, they're just, facility they're just so efficient. After nag-blotter and everything, after 
all the facts were laid out mm. uh, to the best of our memories. I said, let's go to the CCTV room. I'm pretty and, sure all these cameras have and something. And they literally showed us. And we were like, whoa. It was kind of just like, whoa, So as weird. we saw the CCTV, apparently while we were being distracted by the guy helping us to inflate. Guy we, number two comes from the other uh, side, mm. the right side, while we were doing the mas, mas, kasi talagang ginaganan, we were doing that to the car, so mm. we couldn't feel the car move, because mm. we were literally moving the car. So, he sneak, he was very sneaky. In opening the door. Yeah, uh, yeah he opened the door. Like very a ninja. gently, like yeah. a ninja, and then he got one back. And the second bag, and then left. And he even closed the door, I think. Yeah, he closed the door silently. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a fine example of swipe or no swipey. <laughs> yeah, so, and then fine. Oh my gosh. So basically, that guy got caught, and his motorbike also got, uh, you know, confiscated as part of, you know. Confiscated back, or yeah, no. Yeah, confiscated because it's part of the criminal uh, no, uh, tools that oh, they use. Yeah. So yeah, they actually lost more in this operation. And uh, one of the funny thing is that day we weren't their only uh, targets because like days after the police asked us if they got our emails. So uh, they emailed us if um, we had a Gucci wallet stolen from us. Yeah. So, so of course we said that that's not ours, but uh, apparently. The, they got a Gucci wallet from another person that same day before us. So, nagkaroon na sila ng successful operation. Yeah, baka feeling namin marami na silang na target and mm. they were able to victimize so many people already. So, I think, like, at the grand scheme of things, this had to happen to us. We mm. were the bridge for the guy to be caught. And one of the things that I asked uh, one of the lady police officers, How said, did you know? Yeah, how did you know? Of course, after the two came, uh, minutes later, like five minutes later, so many police cars came in yeah. to surround the the whole parking building, and then that's when the policemen, the males, were there coming out from the police cars and saying, and they were all, you know, doing appearing, and they were all yeah. celebrating Actually, that they caught a guy. You yeah. saw them did the high five yeah, they right were after doing high fives. Yeah. Right before we even blottered, right? Yeah, right before we blottered and they were speaking in Spanish. They were so happy that, yes, we got one. We caught one one of these guys. Yeah. Because Barcelona is so known for all these guys. So, gigil sila to catch yeah, them. Yeah, they're quite gigil na. They were able to make a score of catching one of them. So, so all these police cars came in and they were all uh, doing high fives and celebrating like, you know, yeah. uh, a, a good moment happened so here. So, we asked, how did you know that this was happening? Yeah, so I asked the, the police girl, wait. How 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 is it that you, as this happened, yeah. you were just right there in the nick of time, yeah. like you know, like uh, it was like it's like we entrapped them, and you guys knew about what was happening. <laughs> so here's what happened. Well, I would say a good Samaritan. I yes. don't want to name this guy. I don't even want to say his background because uh, you know if these criminal syndicates watch this vlog. Baka gantihan siya eh. Kasi or, I've, yeah, yeah, you never know. I've, I've watched several Hollywood movies like yung Equalizer eh. Yung mga, <laughs> yung mga, nag yung mga nag-good Samaritan, sila pa yung babalikan ng mga mafia na bakit ka nagsumbong and everything. So, mm, uh, ayok. Basically, let's just uh, anyway, keep... Anyway, I want to thank this guy but yeah. I don't want to uh, uh, reveal, reveal his, too much. Yeah. Reveal too much about him kasi kawawa naman siya. Pero may isang good Samaritan na naka-observe sa nangyayari. In the parking building. Oh, sa parking and building. And he saw what was happening. So, tumawag ka agad yeah, siya. Yeah, because he felt, he knew, he had a feeling, as in, nakausap pa namin tong guy na to. Mm. He had a feeling daw that something was weird. So, mm. he immediately called the police. Mm. And we even ha had a convo with the police. Like, were you near? Were you far? We were actually far. That's what they respond, how they responded. Yeah, so I but said, we, in our motorcycles we could we rushed yeah, to get and, here yeah they could break traffic law because they're yeah. police that's why i said how did you get here right in the nick of time maybe that was why they weren't in uniform also yeah, because the, they were rushing they were and then the, these these two women the first two that arrived they were sweating and they were breathing so heavily so i knew it was like yeah yeah you weren't here uh, just now you came right rushing here because I remember, they were breathing I so remember heavy. this at the first the girl who ran panga she was like coughing a lot and i was like oh my gosh like what could i do to help her at least i always have like strips yeah. <laughs> do you want for your throat so she mm. she got one thank you yeah. <laughs> that was the least i could do mm. yeah but it was just so cool we felt like we were in a movie but of mm. course thank you so much to that good samaritan it was literally i mean he just took the initiative mm. and it was both the gut feel, the initiative, and I feel like it was just God and our angels who whispered in his ear na, okay, please make a call because <laughs> mm. this guy has to be caught. These guys have to be caught. And yeah, we're just so grateful mm. that, grab it, wala pang two minutes talaga. 
we I haven't even had the chance to be sorrowful about the incident. Mm. God is just so gracious, really. So here's the big question, no? Why us, no? Yeah, because uh, we kept thinking this can there, there are two, two two possibilities. Just some random guys scouring the streets, wanting to you know. Uh, actually, one of the the police said na tinusok yung tire namin with a knife. Yes. And then yeah, I will show you in a photo here in the vlog na. Talagang parang kalatang knife, ano siya. So we remember that, oh, maybe that was the time that the guy number one in the motorcycle knocked on our door, knocked on their window, yeah. and parang, hey, chuk, sabay, chuk, right? Yeah, yeah, or hey, right before a, that. You yeah. got a flat tire, or maybe right before, chuk, and then, hey, you got a flat tire. Yeah. Mechanical. So apparently that flat tire wasn't random. It was on purpose, kasi yeah. you can see, especially in the photo, I'll flash on the screen. Yeah. Ang, ang laki nung ano, yung yeah. dagger pierce. Eh. That's why we didn't get any signals from the car. Yeah, because it was an instantaneous thing. Because normally, if it's just tire softening or tire pressure softening, it's gradual. Eh. Hindi yeah. siya suddenly we yeah, going yeah, flat. Yeah. Eh. So anyway, so tinusok yung tire namin. So in a stoplight. So that's what happened. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, can this be totally random? But this the synch the synchronization of their movements seems so planned. It cannot just be like parang random lang. Eh, siguro kung sa street. Yun, medyo semi-random yun. Pero before ka naman imag sa street, mamata-matahan ka muna kung may mga gamit kang yeah. worthwhile, right? But this one, parang, we're in the car. So basically, how would they know if we have anything or if there were, we've got anything of value on us? You know? so, and how do they know we're tourists, di ba? So I, was, I kept analyzing and I discussed with uh, several people about this, uh, especially my family, who made an analysis that it couldn't have been at random. Maybe random 1% chance. 99% we were targeted. No? So as I was analyzing the horizon, I don't want to point fingers no i didn't want to tell anyone our schedule and anything that's why kasi syempre alam ko na sa barcelona na maraming ganun so i hindi ako nagsasabi ng schedule namin saan kami pupunta and everything so some of the things that uh, i was thinking baka sa hotel pa lang namatahan na kami mm -hmm. so i was trying to think who did we interact with sa hotel so there were only uh, a couple of people that we interacted it with uh, one uh, he was a very nice man. He's a Filipino. Uh, nakaibigan namin siya. Napakabait niya. Uh, so, umabait siya sa amin. So, maayos siya. Supervisor siya. Junior supervisor siya doon. So, yun yung isa. Then, there was a second one. <laughs> Mahirap mag-doubt. Uh, I don't want to doubt people, no? So We're just uh, pero, playing, you know? We're just doing the guessing game. Yeah, I'm just mentioning who did we interact with, no? And then, of course, uh, before the incident happened. Uh, second was that uh, during the check-in, when the first time we checked in, we were checked in by this South American uh, woman. She was a bit stout. And then, uh, as, I, as uh, I was checking in, Siguro one of the things that uh, gave away that I was a tourist or maybe halata naman a tourist or maybe not was I asked how far was Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia is like the Eiffel Tower of uh, Barcelona, the, like the iconic, iconic destination. Yeah. So immediately, she, you know, she immediately knew I was a tourist. And the first thing she was trying to sales talk me is that uh, Sagrada Familia is quite far from the hotel and uh, it's best not to take the car that I rented and uh, she could help us book a taxi and everything then of course I declined no no I'd rather I'd rather drive no it's hard to park there she kept saying that yeah. uh, I can help you book the taxi so she was really trying to upsell me on the taxi thing and I said no I'll find a way to park there and second she said oh ginto na lang uh, kung wala ka pan tickets I can help you I have a, a direct connection to the website or to the official website but I said no I, I went to the official website myself I already booked it. Oh, I see. Uh, but I can help you uh, no, with other destinations. I said, uh, no, no, I'll just let you know if I need anything. So she was really trying to upsell me stuff. So, of course, she's a lady. Anyway, uh, let's go back <laughs> to the item stolen. The item stolen, one of them was a valuable bag. The other was just a normal bag. And well, valuable then, man. Yeah, but yeah, the other one is a branded uh, bag. The other one is Miu Miu. The other one was a Marin J bag, so, Korean brand, and then the other one was yeah, Miu Miu. Miu Miu. So uh, me as a <laughs> guy, I didn't even know what Miu Miu was. So when I asked you first, <laughs> yung mga biag, yung, from Zalora, first, yung luxury. mga bag na nakuha may laman ba? You said wala makeup, makeup lang second. Wala namang, anong mga brand yun? You said, Mimi. Ah, okay, wala. Akala ko, hindi naman siya, ano, big brand. Kasi usually... I mean, oh, whatever. Yeah, up to you. I mean, siyempre, as a guy. Hindi yeah. nila alam yan. Yeah. Basically, yeah, what's the point? So, the point is, as a guy, I would feel like most As, guys don't he, know brands of that's bags. That's why he said na she's a lady. Kasi, na, 
maybe she knew the value of the bag and maybe yeah, she so targeted Yeah, so the one us. who would tip that, oh, may, may ano, kasi if you look at the report of the police, sinabi nila that they got a Gucci wallet right before us. Mm. So, parang dun pa lang, they're already targeting people with like, female yeah, signature female, items or lo- more lux items. Yeah, female signature items. Or Gucci, things that they could resell, you know, uh, stuff like that. Gucci wallet, a Miu Miu bag. Kasi sa akin, yung mga branded lang na bag, yung usually, yung LV, kasi yun naman yung parang top of mind, no? But, other than that, parang sabi ko, hindi ko na ma-identify. <laughs> yeah. Ay, kasi like, normally, as a, as a guy, <laughs> as or a most guy. guys, di ba? Uh, the only thing you can identify is that signature LV vlog and then after that all other bags like uh anong brand yan is is, is anong value niya hindi mo na alam eh kasi most guys don't really think of that diba we normally guys we value you know uh, ni- car brands and you see oh yan uh, magandang car yeah. brand yan mercedes yeah, yeah. yan or okay. lexus so yeah basically yan. those but, two guys any, any more oh. people you so, expected so, yun, those were the only two people that we interacted right before yeah. the incident. Kasi after the incident, may mga naka-interact kami, mga mababay, so, mababayit na Filipina, na shout out sa kanila. Yeah, what's the moral of the story? How do we so, help people be more aware and alert? Siyempre. Nakakapreneng uh, ba? Like, and, everyone who we, we interact with, we gotta be super careful now with the data we give away and with the stuff mm, that we wear. And here's the thing, no? After the incident happened, hindi ko na nakita yung South American na Latina na yun sa hotel. But the first day, nakita ko siya. Alam niya kung ano oras kami umalis na hotel. And the second day, nung umalis din kami ng hotel, when the incident happened, she saw us leave the hotel as well. Then, the days after, kasi we stayed there six nights eh, hindi ko na siya nakita, hinahanap ko nga siya eh. I, in fact, wala nga akong sinabihan sa hotel na may, may nangyari kasi ay, gusto ko makita kung ano yung mga natural reaction sa atin eh. So, hindi ko na siya mahanap. So, I don't know. So, syempre, a lot of the things are pointing toward this Latina girl. Kasi, yung mabait na Filipino manager, uh, but then again, you naman siya. never know. It's hard to pinpoint I don't want to point fingers. So. Yeah, what you just did. But mm. it was just more like a maybe. Yeah, it's a maybe. So, I'm not accusing anyone. I'm <laughs> just creating, you know, pa, yung mga possibilities. Because who would know what we have right before we left? Yeah. Yeah, so, tawag dito. Yun yung mga analysis namin. Yeah. So, th- lessons learned here, no? So, when, when you're going to, ano, to these uh, s- European countries, uh, always make sure na, you know, if possible, no, uh, don't show flashy items. Kasi, uh, I know marami mga Pilipino, they like showing flashy items para siga sa Pilipinas. Pero apparently in Europe... Are you calling me that? <laughs> it was a new bag. I was just excited to wear. So, sa, ano, siga. Uh, not siga, but cool, you know, sa Philippines kasi pa-cool oh yun, yung style nyan. But apparently sa Europe, wow, masarap pa uh, kunin yan sa'yo, ah. <laughs> yun pala, or just, ano, just never let it leave your sight, maybe. Never leave, let it leave your body if you're really really gonna take that risk. Mm, uh, kasi, lala ko nung naglalakad ta- tayo sa Las Ramblas or La Rambla, which is the popular street in, ano, in, in Barcelona. Uh, you'll, see, you'll really see these ano, pickpockets, ano, patambay-tambay sila and they really look you head to toe and kung wala silang makita sa'yo, they look for another tourist head to toe. So, in my mind, as I was looking at these guys, mm-hmm. ah, they're looking for items of value. Yes, yes. So, if they actually see you with an item of value, parang yung mga nakita kong YouTube videos, may guy na yung Rolex watch niya, pinipilit agaw talaga sa kanya nung nakita siya dun sa Gothic quarters dun sa uh, Barcelona. Talagang mm-hmm. na, nasaksak pa siya kasi ayaw niyang bigay. Eh. Yung isa naman, talagang nasuntok siya para lang makuha yung Rolex yeah. watch. Yeah. But I guess like the way you were telling me pa nga na should I have um, chased the guy? Mm. But ako personally, mahirap na. Because we saw like another video mm. na the, that guy fought to get mm. the things back mm. and he was stabbed. Yeah, oh. So do it at your own risk, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yun nga, that's why the first thing that I thought of was like if I chase the guy, kasi ang bilis ng takbo niya, and I saw that the woman who, who was chasing him, uh, was, you know, syempre, alam ko iba yung, yung capacity ng running capacity. Pero yeah. sabi ko, tingin ko kaya kong habulin tong ano na to eh, guy na to eh. Kasi mas matanda siya sa akin eh. So, nung time na yun, inisip ko, habulin ko siya. Pero nag-second thought ako. Sabi ko, hindi, iiwanan ko yung asawa ko. Sabi ko, so the second thought na lang, check yung kotse. May nakuha ba sa'yo? Tapos nung tinigay mo, hoy, nakuha yung bag. Yeah. Ah, so basically, shoot, lessons learned. Uh, um... Yun, lessons learned, no? So, one, 
uh, after that, naging praning ako sa pagdadrive, ano? Pag may mga motor na lumalapit sa kotse, ginagawa ko, gin, ginagalaw-galaw ko para, just in case may plano sila, hindi nila ako maano. But second, uh, yung nga, uh, practice general safety. Never stop in the middle of the road if you're driving a car or renting a car. Like yung ginawa ko, pumunta ako sa parking facility talaga. And second, if you notice anything uh, suspicious, always know the number of the police to call. In Spain, it was 112, yun yung parang 911 nila. Uh, and of course, number one, uh, talaga number one, uh, observe the people that interact with you. Don't give too much information, no? Like, uh, yung nangyari sa akin, nagtanong ako kung malay ba sa Grada Familia, that, uh, that sentence alone gave an information that I'm a tourist and I'm going here for tourism leisure, purpose. Yeah. Leisure, oh, so parang With money to spend. With money to spend. So that information was like a giveaway to that uh, South American uh, receptionist. Uh, that, siya lang yung sinabihan ko, ah. So wala na akong sinabihan na iba. So tawag dito, yun lang yung, uh, yung kasi yung Filipino guy, hindi ko na siya sinabihan na turista kami. Uh, and, you know, we just had a nice chitty chat but I never told him we were tourists. Uh, we were just, you know, uh, But you told him we were in our honeymoon. Yeah, I told him we were in our honeymoon. And that's obviously your tourist. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I did kind of give something <laughs> there. So anyway. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I would. Yung everyone that I talk to, siempre si sabi nila, yeah. the scales are pointing toward the South American because she's a lady that could identify a mew mew yeah. bag. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, uh-huh. for me, my biggest takeaway there is God is just so amazing. Another, God is amazing. Another big miracle. <laughs> and the number one thing, of course, when traveling or Always in pray. living life, pray for wisdom, pray for protection. That's what we did every day. Yeah. And that's why even though something bad happened to us, uh, na-retrieve God seems like divine plan. Nothing happens by chance. Kasi yung mga iba sinasabi, everything was random. It doesn't seem random kasi why was the police right there in the nick of time? Why was a good Samaritan right there at the nick of time? Why was I given the wisdom yeah. to go to that specific para parking facility? Yeah. Ang daming parking facility pero pinuntahan ko yung the most secure pa. Yeah, <laughs> the most, yeah, it's Hindi ko sila high end pa ah. oh, with na- all the security cameras. Oh. Pinili so, ko lang yeah. yun kasi malapit siya sa... It was risky sa, for them oh. to continue with the operation. Mm. Yeah. Nagtaka nga ako eh, ang ganda na ng parking facility pinilit pa ng dalawa pumasok so mm-hmm. medyo gutsy yung mga criminal dun sa ano sa Spain ano but anyway so yun yung mga lessons to be learned so for those traveling uh, i hope yung story namin was able to enlighten you and hopefully prepare you on being able to travel and be more aware of the things that you should avoid and yes. things that you can do and be more safe and mm. always pray god is amazing swipe or no swipey i hope this also you know makes more of the police men and women more inspired to keep you know doing their job well because i we really saw that they're really noble people so thank you so much gracias two thumbs up for the spanish two police two thousand in infinity. barcelona they're really you know para, so para silang american police ang bilis tapos you can really see the passion in their eyes so kahit maraming criminal doon they're really doing their job na um, mapanggigilan at makuha itong mga to yes. Kaya dun sa Las Ramblas area na known for many of them, ang dami din polis na umikot-ikot dun. So, yeah. two mean, thumbs up. We love Barcelona and we hope that it becomes more crime-free. Yeah, so yeah. Viva España Policia! <laughs> you are the uh, one of the good heroes here in this story. Thank so, you so much! To everyone, thank you for listening to our vlog and hope this story has helped you and will help you in your further travels. <laughs> Yeah, if you're listening on the podcast, give us five stars if you enjoyed this and if you were entertained by it. And yeah, if you're watching on our whatever platform it is, please follow, subscribe. And yeah, we can't wait to post more videos like this. Bye, guys! Bye!